Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I have got a massive pile of makes to show you guys today. You might have noticed I did not do a makes video in August and I can't really remember why. I hadn't made a ton of stuff. Um, one thing I made didn't fit. I was kind of having like an off sewing month. All that to say, I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys today, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, first things first, I made a really cute pair of like palazzo pants from Butterick 6223. This is a Connie Crawford pattern. It doesn't look like much, and honestly, it's really not that much. They came together really, really quickly. Um, but the fabric is really what makes these pants because it is a border print. So this is one of the fabrics I got in New York City this year. I'm 99% sure it came from Chic. Um, it's just got an elastic waist. Um, and if you just pay attention to the cutting layout, you can get, um, you know, some really cute pants like this too. I didn't even bother hemming these pants. And <laughs> now that I'm looking closely, some of the selvage is still left on there. So I'm gonna trim them up a little, little bit just to get rid of, you know, some of that. But um, overall, these pants are really cute and super comfortable. They are literally like wearing pajamas. I wanna say this is an ITY knit. Um, really comfortable, really, really cute. So. Those have gotten a lot of wear in this kind of like late summer weather where it's not 110 degrees, um, but maybe 90s. <laughs> um, okay, next up is this little guy. This is McCall's 7020. Um, I made view F, um, if you can see there. Um, the next few tops I'm gonna show you guys were all kind of, um, inspired by a trip to Boston that I'm going to take here next week. I figured it would be a little bit cooler and that I would be able to pull off some like lightweight um, long sleeve tops. So those are, I started making some of those. Um, I knocked all of these out in a weekend. So that shows how easy all of them are. But here is view F of, what was that? McCall 7020. I thought I was being like really cute and clever and I was like, oh, I'll size up to give myself that kind of oversized slouchy look. And now that it's all done, it might be a little too big and slouchy. It doesn't want to stay up on my shoulders. So I'm thinking about tying or sewing in one of those like ribbon stays, you know, so that this doesn't stretch out all the way and it stays more like this. Um, I might also sew up some of this bulk too. It's just I think a little bit too slouchy and I don't think I would be able to wear it without like pulling on it all the time and like fussing with it and you know nobody likes to to do that with their clothes but the fabric is one of the Kathy Davis um, jersey knits from Joanne I'm not sure if it's still there I got it last year but it's kind of like this um, marbly kind of look to it or like some kind of stone I don't know what I'm saying but you know what I'm saying I don't know what I'm saying, but do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so I think that that turned out really cute and it is very comfortable fabric. I just need to get the fit a little bit better. Maybe it'll wash up, maybe uh, shrink up in the wash. Maybe I should try and wash it and before I take up any seams or anything. Okay, next up is um, this pattern, which is as close to tried and true as it gets for me. I want to say I've made maybe three or four versions of 6992. And this one I decided I wanted to do a bit of hacking based on a top from J. Crew, maybe. Um, so here is the sweater. And this is the little hack that I did. I um, ended up putting some like workable buttons down the side, both sides. Um, so you can button it or unbutton it, um, depending on how like cute you wanna be, I guess. The fabric is um, from Joanne again. I got it this spring whenever they came out with that like, it was like by the seaside or see something to do with 
by the sea or something like that. Um, it is a really soft, uh, maybe rayon or nylon kind of cable knit. Um, and I just did the neck band and I did the sleeve band, but not the hem band and just added a little like, um, button placket to both sides. It was kind of a really easy hack. If you've done a button front shirt before, then you would definitely know how to make this. But if you guys want a tutorial, let me know and I can try and walk you through how I did it. Um, but yeah, I think this one's going to be really cute and take me through a lot of months um, here in Charleston. Okay, next up is McCall's 7435. I made View B. As soon as I saw that guy, I knew it was going to be mine. Um, and the fabric, again from Joanne, I've had in my stash since I think last fall or winter. I'd gotten it to make a like long cardigan, um, but when I pulled out that pattern and I saw this fabric, I just... I knew they would work well together, so I forwent, foregoed, forwent my original plan and came up with this. I love the little sleeve detail with the ribbon. Um, it's really simple to do. Um, this whole thing, I think, fits really well. I did make one alteration in that I kind of raised the front a little bit, so it's got kind of a high-low hem. It's not very exaggerated. I could even take it up a few more inches and it still wouldn't show my waistband of my pants. But um, I did want a little bit more coverage in the back, but I don't like it when it covers too much of the front either. Like, I don't like a tunic. Um, but I do think it's really cute. The sleeve could be a little bit narrower. I might take that in. Um, but other than that, I really like this top. I like the six panels that it has. I think that gives it a lot of... Um, it gives it like a lot of body, you know, without it just being like a tent. Um, so I don't know if there's like some shaping built into that or what, but I do like the panels of the pattern very much. Um, so yeah, this one is super cute. One of my favorites that I've made, um, this year, in fact. So I love that guy. Can't get enough of those ties. Those bows. Um, okay, so some of you were asking about Vogue 9029. Um, you remember it was in my plans video, gosh, several months ago, and it finally came to fruition. Um, let me show you. Probably when I show you the fabric, you'll remember. Again, fabric from Joanne. You would think with all this fabric shopping I did in New York City, um, I wouldn't be sewing with anything other than that, but I think I was trying to get through my stash. So here it is. Um, the fabric, well, it does need to be pressed. I did wash it because it had a lot of markings on it, but I think it came together really, really nicely. I get kind of a Gucci vibe from this. I get kind of a, um, maybe even some like, um, Kate Spade or I don't know. It's, it's like preppy wild wild preppy that's a thing um i still have a little bit of finishing work to do one of the buttons came off in the wash go figure um and then i don't have any buttons on the sleeve mostly because i was just gonna roll it up and didn't know if i needed the buttons because the the sleeves are a little wide if i make it again i would narrow the sleeves but um i did also replace the little sleeve instructions with the sleeve placket um, where I use the Luna Graphics Co sleeve placket template um, and it just gives a way way nicer sleeve but it, all in all it's a really cute top and I am really excited to wear it this fall um, I had a big debate about leaving the sleeves on or sleeves off I even crowdsourced on Instagram and most everybody said to leave them off but Something told me to leave them on, so I did, and I'm still on the fence. <laughs> so you guys will have to let me know what you think when you see it on. But the pattern is really good. I will be making that pattern again, a few slight alterations to it, um, but that's it. Okay, now to a New York fabric. So I made Butterick 6015, which is this, and if you can tell um, from the line drawings, it's got kind of this interesting hip inset 
type of panel thing. And so I was a little bit leery of it, to be perfectly honest with you, because I was like, is that going to draw attention to the hips? Is that going to make them look wider? And as a pear shaped person, that's the last thing that I want to do is draw attention to my hips. But I kept looking at the girl in the pansy um, dress here. And I thought it really just looks like a fit and flare to me. Like it looks like fitted and then it flares out and you can't even really tell on her that it has those panels. So I went for it and I'm pretty happy. I really like it. It is definitely a fun and flirty skirt. Um, got a little bit of like a mermaid vibe going to it, but it doesn't make the hips look bigger. I don't think. Um, it's just, like I said, kind of fun and flirty. Um, this fabric is a cotton sateen, so it does have some stretch to it. But yeah, so here it is. I really do adore this dress and I adore the pattern. Um, I feel like it's drafted really well. It fits really well. Um, I might size down next time. I've been losing a little bit of weight here lately, so I think I'm kind of in between sizes. Or maybe I'm just a size smaller and I don't want to commit because I'm the smallest size on the larger sizes if i commit to going to the smaller sizes i would have to go down a whole nother like the whole to the other pattern envelope and that's really scary so i think i thought i could just like nip and tuck but it is a little bit big but that's okay it'll be fine it's still cute i think okay and so that brings me to my refashion for this month um i well I have this coat out, so I'll show you that first. I ended up getting this Sea Wonder coat off of QVC for like 30 bucks. It was on clearance and it was, it fit in the hips, but was too big in the bust. Go figure. So I just took in the princess seam that's along the bust. I made it, I mean, it is a good like one inch princess seam. So I kind of just rigged it, but I figured for 30 bucks to have it be fitted and more cute. Um, so technically this one under my sewing machine, so I guess it belongs <laughs> in the makes video. Um, but mostly cause I just had it hanging on this hanger. Okay. So my refashion isn't done. Um, but we are very, very close. So I ended up taking some jeans, regular old jeans. These were very large. I want to say they were like boyfriend style jeans and they were a few sizes too big, but I need to do that usually to get it to fit in my hips. So I went to Goodwill, bought some jeans that fit in the hips and thought, okay, I'll just take them in everywhere else. Um, that meant a lot of um, taking in at the waist and taking in and tapering of the leg. But um, I think the fit is okay. And the best part is, da -da -da! So what I did was I just, they were very long as well, cause I guess, cause they were so big. Um, so I just chopped off a little bit of it, uh, bleached it in bleach, sewed it back on and then attached these pearl beads. So I still have the pearls to do to the other leg, but I am very, very close to this um, being done. And I think they're gonna be really, really cute for the fall with some like cute little heels and um, maybe just leaving like a white button down. I'm pretty excited about them. Um, like I said, I think I got a pretty good fit on the jean itself um, and that usually never happens for me. Um, I, I usually can't, but I think because I started so big, it was just a matter of taking everything in. Okay. So that is it for clothes. Um, other things that I sewed this month that you probably already saw if you've been watching the channel. Um, I finished my quilt using the Cricut maker to cut out the pieces. Um, I will have, um, a link where you can watch the video if you missed it, but here she is. I'm very, very proud of her. I really just love it. Um, so far, it's just made a perfect little um, lap quilt. Sunny's been using it a little bit. Um, she's been getting a lot of use. But this is a Riley Blake pattern. It's called X's and O's. And also using Riley Blake fabric called, I think it's like Forget Me Not is the line of fabrics. 
Um, it's very girly and very like childlike, but that's okay. It was cute and it was, it is cute and it was really fun to make. So, um, that got completed. And then if you saw a couple days ago, I posted my koozie tutorial. I actually designed this pattern myself. Um, because I was really kind of disappointed in the koozie options that were available in terms of like making your own. Like I wanted one with a bottom. You know, is that so much to ask? I wanted one that just slipped on and you didn't have to like Velcro it or button it or you know, I just wanted it to look like what it looks like in the store. So that's what this guy is. I'm working on some other versions using like some embellishments and stuff like that. So you'll see more of this if you follow me on Instagram or any of my social medias. Um, oh, and then I've got my, my by Annie, um, take a stand tote bag. So you'll be seeing a lot more about this in a couple of days. I think the video is going to go up. So you'll see more about this, but I did want to just throw it in this video so that you could look forward to that. Um, pretty much it is a really awesome tote bag. Could also be a diaper bag. Um, I'm going to use it as like my personal item when I travel. It's got lots of pockets on the inside and it's just really well drafted and I took a lot of care and time in making it. So I'm super, super proud of it. But like I said, you'll see a lot more about that when the video um, goes post goes live. She's also got a coupon code for everyone. So um, stay tuned if you have been thinking about bag making. You're going to want to watch that one for sure. And after all of that, I have nothing left in my pile. Um, that is everything I have made in August. Um, it's, like I said, been a very, very eventful month. And I just love everything I've been able to add to my wardrobe. So let me know what you made this month. Um, let me know what, uh, if you had a favorite or if you vlog or vlog or Instagram about it. Put a link so that I can see it for myself. Otherwise, just describe it in the, in the comments. Until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye!